Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. This is mathematics. Let's look at this question. Given that E is equal to the set of prime numbers, that is our universal set of the universe. Now, under this universal set, we've got two sets. We have set A and B. Set A is equal to x such that 15 is less than x, less than 34. That is our set A. Then in set B, we have y such that 23 is less than y, less than 40. That is our set B. Now we have got these two parts. List the sets. Roman numeral 1, A, intersection B. Roman numeral 2, A, union B. The question is coming from the topic called sets. These are sets. Now, we are told that the universal set should be prime numbers. Under the universal set, we have these two sets. Now, the two sets are in a set builder notation. When you see something like this, it means it is in set builder notation. Now, remember, a set can be described in different ways. One, it can be in word form, which is description. It can be in listed form. It can be in set builder notation like this. So now, to get these questions correct, you have to change from set builder notation to listing form. All right? So we are going to rewrite these two sets into listing so that we know what they are talking about here. Hope we are together. So let's begin. We are going to start with set A. We are told that uh, this X is representing numbers such that 15, so we have been given the range, 15 to 34. But remember, the universal here says prime numbers. So we are interested in prime numbers within this range. Okay? Now, remember, a prime number has got only two factors. That is one and a different number. That different number must be itself. That is a prime number. So, let's begin prime numbers within this range. The first one will be 17. Agreed? 17 has got only two factors, 1 and 17. What will be the next one? 19. Between 15 and 34. What will be the next number? 23. That will be the next number. What will be next? 29. Agreed? What will be the next number? 31. So these are the only prime numbers within this range. So this is set A. This is what they mean. All these, if you test them, they've got only two factors, one and itself. So it's only one times 17, 1 times 19, 1 times 23, 1 times 29, 1 times 31, okay? We come to B. B is equal to. Here we are again interested in prime numbers within this range. Now, in B, you will notice that 23 is a prime number. Agreed? Yes, 23 is a prime number. But will 23 be part of the solution? Or will 23 be part of set B? The answer is no. Why? You follow the symbol. This one here is less. It means 23 will not be part of the answer. Whenever you have got this less here, even here, if 40 is part of the solution, it means it will not be part of the answer. So whenever you have these, whenever you have got these symbols here, they are saying don't include these numbers. If you had something like this, less or equal to, then they are saying 
you should include 23. I hope we are together. But since it was not there, we are not going to include. So we start. The first one, therefore, will be 29. Okay? So we have got 29. All right. We are moving up to this range. From 29, we move on to 31. From 31, we are moving on to 37. 37 is also a prime number. From 37, we are now moving on to up to that number there. So from 37, do we have any number which is a prime before 40? That will be the end. So this will now be 30B. Only this. Now you can shift your attention to the question. A intersecting B. Come to this. A intersection B, elements that are in both A and B. So let's start. We have 29 here, 29. So we have 29, it's common. We have 31, 31, it's common. Any other? That's all. So this is the correct answer. Roman numeral 2. A union B. Here, union, now they are saying, put them together, A and B, make one set, but don't repeat elements. So we are saying, A union B, we start 17, we have 19, we have 23, we have 29, we have 31, we have 39. We have 37 rather, 37. So this is the final answer. This is the way the question is supposed to be answered. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.